Okay, so I am here today at uh, Thespian HQ in Taunton and uh, trying to find out a little bit more about Here Be Dragons, which is the Taunton Thespians tour for this year. And I am the author and director of okay. the production. Um, and this one this year is all about the myths and legends of Somerset. Okay, okay. It's billed as a comedy, although there are a few you know, little dark moments in the second act. Ooh. But hopefully it will be a good laugh to raise your spirits. That sounds it's good. A, yeah, it's a combination. So basically, what, what is it? Sort of several stories about her? Yeah, it's a number of stories, um, and they all run together, um, narrated by the Green Man. Uh, he kind of links them all together, as it were. And we have a cast of 15 who, between them, oh, wow. are yeah. taking on nearly 100 different parts. <laughs> so there are a lot of quick changes going on backstage, I can tell you. I can imagine, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, that sounds great. So I know to my left here, I'm just going to swing around here, um, are some of the, those 15 members of the cast. So it would be quite nice, I think, Lorna, if, I, if you'd like to introduce them to me, so, and yeah. perhaps if they'd like to come over one at a time, that, and we can ask them what, they, what they're great, doing. And they're in character, I gather, all today. They're all in costume, and they're ah, all in character. Tomorrow okay. is our last rehearsal, so I hope they're all ready to go. And I think, first of all, I spy the mysterious Dr. Quack. Yes, here comes I, the famous Dr. Quack, and I can cure all ills from head to toe to back. Excellent, Doctor. So how many parts are you playing? There's there's 100 parts and 15 of you, so I imagine you've got one or two there. Well, as a Doctor, I'm just me. Okay, of course, of course. certain other roles with recurring as uh, someone with a slightly a hooded figure. Mysterious. Ooh. I like to be mysterious. This see. is where the darkness comes in. I'm yes, imagining. absolutely. Okay. Although, I'm a nice character. I of can course. cure people. I'm there to make people celebrate and be happy. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, Doctor. Thank you. Could you introduce the next person who's coming on, please? Yes. Who are you blaming? <laughs> 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 I'm the ghost of the blue girl. Oh, oh, hang on. I'm stepping back. It was a bit scary, really, isn't it? They say that I'm Victorian, oh. smartly dressed, all in shades are. of blue. Yes. I look aloof. Distracted and rather sad, as oh. most Victorians Could do. Could I ask why you're sad, or is that more well, for the show itself? Well, they also say, and they say this discreetly, that I'm known as a lady of the night. Mm. <laughs> if, if I'm both, then I must be expensive, upper class. <laughs> I'm blushing. And very polite. Thank you very much indeed. It's very nice to meet you. It's Would you introduce the next person, Certainly. Please? It's lovely to meet you, too. And you, too. And we now must introduce... The king of the wassail. Ah, oh, your majesty. What's hail? Drink <laughs> hail! Yes, so you, you have to reply, drink What's hail. Oh, drink hail, okay. And after that, uh, we try to clear the orchard of the evil spirits. Indeed, indeed we do. I've, I've been to several ceremonies, which I presumably you, you Were you command. one of the evil spirits? I was. Unfortunately, I would have <laughs> obviously, you out. Obviously, your majesty. <laughs> so how big a part do you have in the, in the play? Uh, well, the kings, they're all small parts. But yours is the grandest, surely. Um, well, not really. I'm only a local king. A local I'm king, not really OK. A king. That's fine. Uh, I don't know how they choose uh, kings and queens from. No, a very company. unusual thing. I think it probably took it all in turn. It's Your Majesty, could year. you introduce the next person, please? Certainly. Thank you. Uh, this, one, unfortunately, is a royalist. Uh, oh, hang on, he's got a gun. Uh, I hope that's not loaded, sir. Where is it? Have you seen him? <laughs> no. Monmouth has escaped again. Oh I need word. to find him. So who are you, sir? I am a royalist, and I am under the command okay. of St James the Second. Ah, quite right, too. And do you have a part which is a, a long part in the play? And the person playing you, I obviously don't want to know who you are, and of course you are just yourself, but who else will you be playing? Will you be playing other parts as well? I am playing other parts as well, yes. Go on. <laughs> I play, I play a, a villager and I play um, a knight. Oh, right, Shining OK. Down. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you ever so much for talking to me. Well. You have one more. Oh, hold the line. Yes. Come this way, Mom. I am a very lonely wench. You was hiding yes, from me, you I were. Was. <laughs> and I'm actually a blind to be. Oh. And it's my wedding day. <gasps> and we dance and I want to dance the night away. How but exciting. But the fiddler, he won't play for me. <gasps> What's wrong with him? He just, he won't play into the Sabbath. <laughs> It's just an old wives' tale, but he will not do it. So I thought someone else comes in and they offer to play for me. Oh. But he's a very bad person. That's not good, is that? And I don't know if you've ever been to Stanton Drew, oh. but if you go there, it'll give you a clue as to what happens. Ah, mm -hmm. but we don't want to tell anyone at the moment, do we? Because well, that no. might spoil it. We don't want to spoil it. No. Is there anyone after you? No. no. That's the lot. <laughs> okay. I'm the last. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you. And uh, lovely to meet you all once again. And I hope you two um, do well in the performance coming up. Behind you is a dragon. Is that a dragon? A piece of a dragon? Yes. Not you, obviously. Oh, yes, yes. Not you. Okay. And can you introduce yourself, do you think? Yes, my name's Donna Bullion. Brilliant. Um, and you're playing I'm... yourself, of course, Donna Bullion. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Donna. And uh, I am actually in the play. Oh, are you? Yes. What part are you playing? Mostly puppeteering. Okay. I'm both dragons, and I'm doing Hunky Punk and the Fairy Queen at the end. Explain Hunky Punk. Hunky Punk is uh, like um, they're all on churches, and they were to ward oh. off evil spirits, but they're they're not like gargoyles. There's something a bit more sinister. Gosh. And we've actually researched them from the actual parish churches, and then we've made the masks, and then we come on as the characters. They're not painted yet, but these are lit up and they'll go there. Brilliant. And then we'll then put lots of scales in and lots of teeth. Sounds great. Once you've done all that with the bases, then it will be painted red and then you attach the body, which is a long piece of fabric, basically. Thank so, you, Donna. That's yes. brilliant. Well done. Um, guys, just to notify the people at home, um, you can see all the details of uh, the performances. Ten performances, are there not? Of all 10 performances on the post that this is above this video. Um, so we'll show it there. And uh, all I can say to you all is uh, break a leg and very, very good luck to you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. What's hell? What's hell? Oh, drink ale, of course. <laughs> we'll get it right in a minute. Thank you all.